Okay, Craig William here with Five Star Hobby back for part three of uh, motor sensor uh, boards and uh, you know checking your gap. Uh, so I have put this motor back together and you can see that the sensor board went from 66 down to 46, which is a lot better, still a lot farther apart than the phase B and C. Now with this version, with this rocket version three motor, um, the actual um, sensor boards on these motors, you they have glued them together. So you cannot um, space the bearing out on a rocket version 3. That's uh, because they have glued these together so you cannot you can't take the you cannot take the um, bearing out. So I guess if the bearing ever went bad you'd have to replace this whole sensor board. Which is kind of but now the version 5s the version 5 and the version 4s are not this way but the version 3s were. Um, so this is about as good as you're going to get on a rocket version 3 um, is, is this closest. But that is a lot closer. But um, still going to have to watch the temp on this and make sure that you're gearing the motor properly. Make sure you're not putting a whole lot of uh, speed control timing in it, boost, you know, turbo and that kind of stuff. But you really need to watch them. But it's still a good little motor, um, especially for messing around. So anyway, that's just... Uh, um, Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button on the videos. And um, uh, usually, like I said, you know the gap I usually do 0.5 or 0 0.80. And every motor is a little different, and each one likes a different uh, motor gap between the sensor board, between that sensor and the rotor. So anyway, um, check you out uh, later in the next video. Thanks.